Um, yeah, anyway, it's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. This is amazing. Yesterday, I was at Kohawk Pond, pulling out carps just to watch them suffocate. And now look at me, with the winner of the 46th largest electoral college victory of all time. And I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of your board game, and your beef products, and your fraudulent university, and... Oh my god! Oh please, every president since Washington has done this. Dearest Martha, I cannot wait to once again place my hand onto your gates of Venus. My darling Bess, tonight I'm going to drop the big one onto your Pacific Theater. Hey, Barbara Bush, working late, sleeping in office, crazy headache, you look like my mom. <laughs> Um, guys, I gotta tell you something. Last night at the White House, President Trump touched me inappropriately. What? Meg, that's my boss. All right, this is my career you're talking about. I spent a whole day working on this. You want me to just throw away in one day what I've spent a whole day trying to build? A whole day's worth of work. Poof, gone in a day. Meg, you expect us to believe that the President of the United States would grab a woman by her f that's ridiculous! How could you not believe me? Oh, hang on, CNN's on, where I'm the loudest guy on an overcrowded panel. This country needs stronger border security. Our border security is the strongest in the world. What we need is to take care of our children. I can't get an erection. You think giving them amnesty is fair to the people who are already here? They're contributing to the economy. I've tried all the herbs. Amnesty is never the answer. It's not amnesty. It's recognizing their contributions to our country. They said to meditate, but I keep falling asleep. We need stronger vetting. And to enforce the laws already on the books. I'm terrified of being alone with my wife. It's too much pressure. Well, nothing's ever going to change if Congress isn't willing to compromise. Exactly my point. A wall would solve this. I wake up with an erection, but never when she's in the bed with me. A wall would solve nothing. These children have rights. I spent three grand on a sandals vacation thinking that might do it. Know what it was? Me being limp on a lazy river. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you to Peter Griffin. No, don't send me home to my wife. Democrats. That's why we went to sandals? Dad, did you hear what I said? Sorry, Meg, I gotta go to work. What? You're still gonna work for that man after he assaulted me? Meg, you gotta stop with these stories. People hate a liar. Okay, I'll take your questions. Me with a fake mustache. America wants to know what you're packing up there. I've heard 11 inches, true? All right, that's enough from you. Me with a funny hat? I also have heard 11 inches. Okay, any non-11 inch questions? Me with an old-timey wig? I've heard four hand breaths. Mr. President, the press briefing went very well. Many people are saying it was the best press briefing in all of history. Mr. Griffin, you're not speaking to President Trump. That's a butternut squash. Oh. Well, if this lumpy orange garbage vegetable is here, then where's President Donald Trump? Mr. President, please. I'm not interested. You'll regret this. Mother Matota. <laughs> Oh my God, Bob's Burgers is on. This show speaks to us young people, apparently. That show, and, and I mean no disrespect when I say this, but that show looks like it was animated in a moving car. And again, no disrespect, wonderful people over there, but oh my God, President Trump is assaulting Meg. I can't believe what I just saw, Mr. President. What would your third wife, the soft core girl on girl porn lady think about this? Or the actual porn star your lawyer paid hush money to? I'm so sorry we didn't believe you earlier, sweetie. Yeah, where do you get off behaving like this? Why shouldn't I? You do. What? When you walked through that door, you insulted Bob's Burgers and the hundreds of people who worked there. Well, I was just kidding around. No, you weren't. You're just jealous because it wins all the Emmys and the kids love it. You seem to know a lot about Bob's Burgers. Of course I do. Bob's Burgers is my favorite animated show. Wow. There's your headline, Emmy voters. Vote your conscience. Anyway, my point is, if Peter Griffin gets to be a jerk all the time, then why can't Donald Trump? Huh. That is not the dumbest thing you've ever said. So, are we square? No. No, President Trump, we are not. I quit. What? That's right. And you know what else? My days of being mean and insulting are over. From here on out, I'm going to be the nice, kind Peter Griffin.
You can't walk out on me. I'm the president. Well, you're not a very good one. Like that guy. Or, or, or that one. Or that one. And which one is that, anyway? I'm Grover Cleveland, the only president to be married in the White House. Oh, what a nice story. It's a great story. I married a girl who I'd raised since the time she was 11 years old. Ah. Uh. Well, that guy's not getting a musical. <laughs>